While the Santa Fe Trail moved people and goods in the physical sense, its most important cargo might well have been culture and language. In the half century of its heyday through the middle 1800s, the Santa Fe Trail helped inject English language and early American ideas into the existing mix of Spanish, Mexican, and Native American influences. So the trail out of Missouri was one of the chefs cooking up the cultural casserole that makes New Mexico a special place today. The Santa Fe Trail was actually several trails, as travelers had options to take different branches. In New Mexico, that primarily meant the mountain route coming in from Colorado at Raton, or the Cimarron route coming in from Oklahoma near Clayton. All along New Mexico's portion of the Santa Fe Trail National Scenic Byway, you can find roadside markers, information plaques at rest stops, or in the case of one stretch of trail near Clayton, actual stone signposts that mark the trail's path. And if you look carefully in places, you can spot ridges cut into the landscape by years and years of passing wagon trains. Tourists, no doubt using more comfortable and quicker transportation, can find many treasures along this trail. History-laden cities like Raton, Cimarron, and Las Vegas each offer glimpses back in time in their architecture and attractions. Fittingly for the Wild West, the National Rifle Association operates the Whittington Center outside Raton. In fact, on the Whittington Center grounds are ruts, markers, even a statue dedicated to the trail that passed through. And as you trace the remnants of the route across northeastern New Mexico, it is possible you will spot privately owned herds of buffalo. That's one of the authentic touches still available on this byway. Historic Fort Union is another. This now crumbled fort served to protect travelers and commerce along the trail. At Fort Union, you can again find markers for the trail and ruts from the many wagons that followed it. Pecos National Historical Park is another of the trail treasures. Here you can learn not just about the Santa Fe Trail era from a century and a half ago, but about 12,000 years of history, including Pecos Pueblo, the Civil War battle at Glorieta Pass, and the ranching history of the forked lightning spread owned by actress Greer Garson for many years. And naturally, no visit to the Santa Fe Trail would be complete without a visit to Santa Fe itself. A life-sized sculpture on Museum Hill honors the impact the trail carrying people and goods east and west had on New Mexico. Technology in the shape of trains, ended Santa Fe trail travel by the 1880s, unless you count tourist travel. It has the mystique of the Wild West and an abundance of compelling landmarks. That combination allows a trail that no longer carries freight to carry plenty of fuel for memory and imagination.